Melanie Dutt, the New South Wales Trade Commissioner to India. Thank you very much for joining us on Australia in Space TV here in New Delhi at the Indian Space Congress. Look, it's quite exciting to be here. You just uh, saw the inauguration session. We had wonderful representation yes. from various Australian government representatives, both at the state and federal level, just showcasing the commitment between Australia and India in the space sector. We are quad allies and timing couldn't have been better with the geopolitical tensions and Australia being looked upon very favourably as a partner for India. So we're very excited to be here. Very much. You could have almost called it the India-Australia Space Congress uh, the way you. Definitely a dominant uh, factor but some 40 countries represented here uh, and it's great to have, have you here at the Space and Earth Partners and Advisory uh, uh, booth as well, right next door to Investment New South Wales. Uh, I suppose the, the key call to action here this year is to get people to Sydney and you are on the diocese uh, today giving that uh, welcome to the Indian space community uh, and the international community here to IAC, uh, all going well in the lead up? Absolutely and you heard Dr Pavan Goenkov uh, in space. He said he's going to get the biggest ever Indian delegation to Sydney to attend IAC. He spoke about numbers of 75 to 100. So we're very excited because it's going to have not only government but also private sector representation. So I think it is the opportunity for uh, collaboration between a lot of New South Wales stakeholders but also more broadly Australian stakeholders and explore opportunities around co-developing in R&D, skilling and education, technology transfer, look at you know investing and landing pad opportunities to launch businesses into Australia. It's very excited. Well you gave good insights into the New South Wales uh, space community as well and I'll give our quad uh, series plug. I think there's a lot of opportunities. We'll be launching that tomorrow and that'll be alongside the IAC at the Australian National Maritime Museum. So I think uh, when we sort of grab that opportunity between Australia and India, uh, it does bring in uh, the regional uh, aspects of that as well. Where are some of the strengths uh, that you see, particularly for New South Wales uh, with India? There's there's a lot to unpack there, so I'm sorry to put you on the, on notice, but yeah, what are some of the highlights there for you and sort of the feedback that you're getting here at the booth so far? Look, Chris, like I said, you know, there are three or four areas which I'd like to highlight. Definitely, we, we have a brochure on technology transfer and technology supply opportunities. And we play across the spectrum, be it upstream, ground infrastructure, as well as downstream opportunities. And specifically around satellite and satellite systems, I spoke about, you know, uh, space medicine and biosciences, robotics, high-tech instrumentation, R&D opportunities, so I think there's a lot of opportunities, advanced manufacturing, earth observation, so a whole lot of uh, supply opportunities for Indian companies to partner with and access those opportunities and particularly with the underlying quad agreement, there's an opportunity and Australia is seen very favorably at this point by India, so to do more uh, work together. I see another opportunity in research and innovation because Australia can be used as a test bed and New South Wales has a number of those opportunities. Eight of our universities in New South Wales are space focused and we also have the Smart Research Network, the New South Wales node of SmartSat CRC. Uh, we have fantastic universities like Macquarie University with the Australian Astronomical Optics University of New South Wales that also has a uh, focus on research engineering and a center around it. We have Western Sydney University which hosts the International Center for Neuromorphics. So I think there's plenty of opportunities to partner with such wonderful world-class institutions and do research work. And you have the CRC, the Collaborative Research uh, Center concept in Australia where you have industry research institute resolving problem statements and answering it through space technology based uh, solutions. Yeah. So I think opportunities are immense. Well, you've unpacked that very, very well. One other aspect, there's a number of uh, Australian states here, but I think also there's a national representation here from India. It's not just here in New Delhi, but uh, across India as well. And they all likewise bring their, their strengths to bear as well. But, but Malini, enjoy the rest of uh, ISC here uh, in New Delhi. Thank you so much for the support that we've had as well uh, and, and here at the booth at the Space Partners uh, and Advisory. And thanks very much for joining us on Australia and Space TV. Thank you and look forward to a collaborative partnership at ISC. Thank, Thank you. you, Chris.